Hi everybody, so um, it is Friday again. Friday is sacred in, uh, in Morocco. It's the day when they serve royal couscous, which is a beautiful, um, well it's presented as a mandala. It looks so lovely the way they arrange the vegetables on it, but it's, you know, only served on Fridays because uh, Friday is ruled by Venus and it was a sacred day long before the rise of the empires, hence my post. So, um, my thoughts on love this week. Well, it's been a curious week. It seems I can't step out the door without men wanting my number. Now, I'm 53. I'm not used to that. And it's not sleazy. It's absolutely... I find myself giving my number and then going, oh my goodness, I, I can't, you know, meet with this person. This happened with a 23-year-old young man this week. He just said how beautiful I was. And I, d I didn't hear him. So I was like, pardon, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. He said it three times. <laughs> and as a Western woman, we are just not prepared for men speaking their heart, let alone to women that they've never met. And it's not done as a seduction. It's, it's done because they can't not express their, their heart. And this is a land of Venus. I have no, you know, the, the flag is the five-pointed star. And the men here, they have a poetic mind, you know. They, they value the, the mystic, the mystic realm. They value the feminine. And so I feel seen here in a way that I've never felt seen in the West. And it's quite ironic, given that the women are shrouded in veils. But, um, yeah, there's a reverence here for the feminine. So it's, um, you know, the women that I meet that are expats here, we're all just, you know, in a state of shell shock, sort of walking around. Because the men in the West, bless them. Thank you. I've got a dear brother bringing me my tea. Hope you don't mind. I just wanted to show the pouring of the tea. I just, I love, I love that you pour it with such ceremony. Thank you. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, I met women from Bulgaria here this week. Beautiful mystic women. Another woman from France. I had a friend that came from France as well. And another woman from England. And, you know, we're all finding this, this commonality that... Um, to have men speak their hearts so freely to us is unusual, you know. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know how we heal that. Well, I do actually. You know, it's in gathering the men to practice speaking their truth from the heart in circle, which is something I did for the last three years but then had to abandon because there just wasn't enough interest from the men and I literally um, you know lost everything that I had trying to reach the men so you know the, the the travesty is that you know the men in in the west their heart is is jailed it's in a soul cage they're not able to express their heart to speak their heart to um, yeah so the theme of my uh, stage show that I'm doing up in Edinburgh is is liberating the soul. Look at this dog. <laughs> I hope you can see that. My camera work is terrible. Oh dear. So um, I had a dog. The, the animals here are so friendly. I mean, they're all street animals, but they're so loving because the people are loving, you know? And it's... You know, where I am, it's a poor village. And so to look at it at a first glance, you would go, God, why, why would you stop here? But it's, love is here, you know, and my heart just feels happy, you know, um, yeah. So they're my thoughts on love, you know, that um, the, the trauma in the West is that people are trapped in these soul cages where they're afraid to speak their heart, they're afraid to express their heart, primarily because there's a fear of rejection, there's a fear of looking like a fool for love, there's a fear of, um, 
of if you open your heart to feeling, you're going to feel the grief. You're going to feel the pain that you haven't allowed yourself to journey and process. So, yeah, my invitation this year is to invite people to step into that arena, to step into a womb vessel for rebirth, to journey those fears, to lift the veil on those fears because it's the only thing keeping us from expressing our heart, from liberating our soul and from connecting nakedly, yeah, transparently as crystalline, clear fractals of light. And um, that is how together we will return to a state of Eden, of being naked as souls, being able to express the beauty that we feel in our heart by acknowledging it, by changing our, our aperturing so that we're attuned to seeing and appreciating um, beauty. And we see that through the eyes of the feminine. So, you know, most of the world is suffering from internalized misogyny and you don't realize it if you're in the illusion you know it's like oh i'm not misogynist i believe in equality and you know closing the gender pay gap and all the rest of it but misogyny is the fear of the feminine and the feminine is the unknown it's change it's death it's uh, vulnerability yeah it's being spontaneous and so most, particularly in the West, are very much into security, control, the opposite of the feminine, which is because of their unacknowledged fear of the feminine traits and values. And until we heal that, there will not be equality in the world. We cannot create equality from the mind. Okay, No change is ever affected through political means. Yeah? Politics is of the mind. All change happens from within. And like a flower, you know, there's these beautiful, look at these hibiscus. You know, change happens from a shift in our perception and our values. So that then, there's one flower, I don't know if you can see that. God, my camera works bad. I do apologize. Let's try this one. Oh, I'll turn the camera around. God, I really need, there we go. Look at her. Now, Flowers are genitals on stalks. That's another good thought for today, being a Friday. So love your, your vulva today, ladies. And guys, love your beautiful wand of light, your Vajra. You know, look how audacious nature is. Yeah, she's just got them out there saying, I smell fabulous, put your nose in there. And the fact that we give them, we give them to people, you know, and people bury their face in them and it lights us up, you know to see a flower fully open because that's what we're here to do we're here to bloom our consciousness is flowering hence all the mandalas that we saw in the 60s now returning as the Aquarian age ramps up so it's time to bloom and for us to bloom we need to um, find that sense of deep trust and safety within to be ourselves to express ourselves so that we can open to the light like a beautiful flower so I hope that touches your day, your heart in some way. Have a beautiful weekend. And um, yeah, may your Friday be filled with love, pleasure. Treat yourself in some way. And um, yeah, usher the goddess into the planet because she is rising. But she's rising through each and every one of us. Hi, Sarah. Um, thank you so much for sending the CBD to my girl. So grateful. All right. Big love to you all. Ciao, everybody.